Hi, I'm Alicia Niles from MyBeadBar.com. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to use a website called Coolers.co. Um, this website allows you to um, create palettes. They, you can get, uh, there's a palette generator, which you can literally just click on and create random generated palettes. Um, the part I like about this website is it also has an area where you can pick a palette from a photo. So I'm going to click on that pick a palette from a photo. And I'm going to browse for an image. And here I'm going to look for that image, one of those images that we grabbed before. So the, um, in this case, it's the graffiti image that we grabbed in the last video. Click OK. And it will upload that image to the palette picker. So if I go here, um, it, the first thing that will happen is we'll randomly generate um, a palette. I can go up here and I can swing through it and it will show me all different colors of palettes that it's um, generating from this particular image. But the thing that I like about this, it allows me to add additional um, spaces so I can choose seven or eight or nine or however many I wish. Um, as well, when there's a little dot on the color, it means that I can generate a different color from that. So maybe I want to go down and find sort of a bright blue here. And I can literally go through and just start to play with the different colors. I like this kind of orangey color here. Maybe I'll try to find a nice bright spot in that orange. And as you notice, as I go around and move it around, the um, color will change. And I can see the color in this area as well as this area. So I'm going to go in here and maybe I'm going to look for a dense black. Um, and who knows, maybe a, a nice yellowy color. And it's just kind of fun to just go through and sort of start to play with all the different colors. I kind of like that color, but maybe I'll go in and find out some of these greens here. So I can literally just keep going like that until I can add more by just adding the, hitting the plus sign. And I can go in and sort of tar start picking different, different areas of the palette. Um, and the other thing that you can do is you can also rearrange the colors so you can sort of get a better idea. And at any point, if you just don't like that particular one, you can go through and start to, to play with that color as well. Maybe a different color of yellow or maybe a different color of green. And then you can just start to play until you get a palette that you particularly like. Now the next thing that you can do is you can export it. So you simply click export and I export it as an image, give it a title. See if I can spell this right. <laughs> um, and you can export it as different color um, systems. I just click none and hit export. And it will export that and save it on my computer. Now then, once I've exported that, I can then print those images out. And I like to print them on photo paper because that makes them nice and small and allows me to, um, allows me to uh, be able to pick it up and, and look at it when I get to mybeadbar.com. So in the next video, I will show you how to use these palettes and to pick and choose your colors. So join me in the next video. Thanks so much.